It's like all bronzy stuff. So I did purchase three of their stuff. I didn't purchase everything because I just felt like I didn't need all the stuff. But I will be showing you guys what they also came up with. So, so the first thing that I have right here is the actual palette. And this is called the 35G Bronze Goals Palette. Which looks like this. This is the actual box right here. So I'm going to be opening it. And... I can't remember how much it retails for, but I will leave it somewhere around here just so you guys can know the price. So it does come in a little bubble wrap and I haven't even opened this so I don't even know if it came broken or not. Hopefully it did not because it's been a while since I bought it. So it actually comes with this right here. This is the only thing I don't like about Morphe. They put their names on this actual thing. I wish they had their names on the actual like thing right here. So these are the shades right here. Super pretty. There's matte shades and there's glittery shades. But I wish they had the names actually written in here because I'm going to lose this. I know the James Charles palette one. I lost it and I don't know where I left it. And I just wish they had their names on the actual palette. So once again, this is what it looks like right here and the outside is just like the box. So you open it and you do have matte shades, but mainly they're most glittery shades. So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They have 11 matte shades and they have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25. Around 25 glittery shades. I don't want to count again because I, I think I messed up. But I guess once again, this is what it looks like. And I am going to be creating a look out of this. And as I go by, I will show you the other stuff that I got. So as you all can see, my face is already prepped. It's prime. I have foundation. I have my brows on. So I'm going to be moving straight into my eyes. So I want to kind of create, I mean, you can create a lot with this. It's just like brown shades, but I do see they have this kind of like um, purpley kind of cranberry shade. So I kind of want to incorporate that into my look, but they're mainly brown shades and gold ones. So, oh, before I start, I was already going to grab my brushes, but before I start, I also bought the Morphe times Jeffree Star brushes. Let me tell you a story about these. At first, I actually bought these when they first launched and I was so pissed at Morphe because, let me tell you why. Oh, I also bought the sponges. I didn't bring those with me, but I'll just put a picture here because I'm not going to be using the sponges because I already um, did my face. I'll just put a picture here of what they look like if you guys have not seen them, but... I was pissed at Morphe because I was so excited to buy these when they first launched. So I was like right on time at the website. I purchased these within like five minutes with when they launched and I paid for them and everything. So I was so excited because I got my confirmation that they were already like going to ship, that they were already shipped. So when I got the package, it was like a big box and I was like, yay, my brushes are here. So I opened the box. You're not going to believe what I saw. Only the sponges were in the box. No brushes. And I was so pissed because I paid for them. I was waiting so long for these to launch. And I mean, I wanted to get them and they were not in the box. So my order my order sheet, it said that I bought both of them, but only the sponges arrived. So I thought, okay, maybe they're going to send it in another box. So I kind of sent, so I sent an email to Morphe and then I gave them my order number and everything. And I told them and they're like, oh, we're so sorry. We made a mistake. We didn't ship them to you, but you can wait for the next launch to buy them. I was so pissed. 
I was so pissed because I was waiting so long for these brushes and I bought them. I went to the site in time. I paid for them and then they didn't send them. And then they told me, oh, you can just wait for the next launch. No, Morphe. You don't do that. Like, I, I felt I felt bad because I really wanted the brushes and they didn't send them to me. So they told me either we can send you like you can have like a store credit or we can refund you and then you just purchase them later on when they're in stock. And I was like, well, I don't want to have the money in there. So just refund me. So they did refund me that they did refund me. And I actually bought these the second time that they launched. But I just think that it's so messed up of Morphe. And I'm not the only one who had that issue. I saw on Twitter a lot of issues that people were not getting what they ordered. And I just think that it's so messed up because, like me, I waited so long for this um, launch. And I was so excited. And then you bought it with my own money and i mean then you don't receive it I, I don't think that's fair i think they have to be more careful and actually like send the stuff but it already happened too bad um it happened i can't do anything about it but i already have the brushes and i'm gonna actually use them right now because i haven't even like i opened it just to see but i haven't even used them, used them. so this is what the actual bag looks like i don't think i'll use the bag because i really don't travel and i i just don't think i'll use it um but it is super cute so i'll just keep that and the brushes come like this this is what they look like they have face brushes and eye brushes when Jeffrey first announced these brushes, there was a lot of people talking, you know, like the drama channels, talking about them that they kind of look like eBay or Amazon brushes that people already like made and that he copied and stuff. But if y'all don't know, Jeffrey actually gave us a sneak peek way before the launch, but he never launched the brushes. So I had already seen the brush because he did show it to us and... I mean, I honestly don't think that he copied all these other um, eBay sellers and stuff. Like, eBay stuff, it is super affordable and some stuff are pretty good. But I don't actually think that he copied them. It's just that, like, um, there's a lot of brushes that look the same. So, so yeah, with that being said, I'm going to start with my eyes because I've been talking for so long. And, um, okay, they have... Let me see they have two blending brushes which look like this they have this one which i guess it's like a highlighting brush they have a brow with the spoolie i'm not really sure i would use this because i really don't do my brows with a pomade anymore and then they have this one did not come in a little plastic or did i throw it away no, this one did not come in an actual little plastic, so, I mean, I don't mind, but I don't know. And this is kind of like a concealer, like, buffing brush, I'm not sure. And then this one is like a powder brush, and then a foundation brush. I'm not going to use the foundation or the powder one because, um, I already did my face. But I think I am going to try the highlighter one, and I'm going to try to see if I can use these blending ones so let me just open them so I can have them right here ready to use okay moving on to my eyes like I said they're already primed and prepped and everything so I am going to be grabbing this is the JS5 oh, that is so pretty so this is the S this is the JS5 and it's just like a blending brush and I am going to be grabbing my transition shade and I'm going to be using this shade right here it's just like a brown shade and I'm going to be applying this all over my crease Ooh, they're so soft they're actually nice they're so soft And actually, I thought like the actual design was going to be hard to like handle, but it's actually like super comfortable on your hands. So I really like that. And this shade is so pretty. Next, I think I want to add this shade right here. It's just like a darker brown. And I already dipped my nail into it. And I'm going to be applying this one in there as well on my crease. My hand is so sore. I've been working a lot and I've been doing a lot of nails and my wrist is actually 
popping and it hurts i'm scared to get carpal tunnel okay so now that i have this i'm just adding a little bit more now that i have this i want to add that cranberry shade so i'm gonna grab a shading brush right here and let me just clean it because it has glitter from something else i'm gonna apply it without wetting my brush first but i do plan on wetting it just so it can be more pigmented so i'm gonna be grabbing this cranberry shade right here and i'm gonna be applying that all over my crease i'm actually i actually think i'm gonna leave the outer v empty because i want to add something darker in there so And I think I'm going to leave this part empty as well. Okay, I think I'm going to wet my brush just because I want more pigment. So I'm just using the Morphe Setting Mist. I'm going to grab a little bit of that. And oh yes, you can see the difference. It, it does make a difference. So I'm going to be applying this right here. So now that I have that cranberry shade, I'm going to wet the other side of my brush. And I think I want to use... I don't know. I think I'm going to use this shade right here. It looks like orangey, but it also looks like bronzy. And I want to see how it looks. So I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of that. And I'm going to be applying this on the inner part. Ooh, that is so pretty. I'm going to be adding this right here and then just blending it with the cranberry shade. Okay, now that I have that, I want to add a darker shade to my outer V. So I think I'm going to be adding this dark brown right here. I'm going to be adding this on the outer part, on the outer V of my eye something like right here I'll be blending it towards my crease in a little bit so I'm gonna be grabbing that as the, that JS5 again and I'm gonna be grabbing that same dark shade and then just work it here because I thought the other brush was too big And I'm actually going to be bringing this to my crease just to create this line right here because I kind of lost that shade. So for my top, that is it. That's all I'm going to be doing. It looks so pretty actually. I really do like it. So now I'm going to be moving on with my under eye. And let me see, I think I'm just going to be adding a dark brown, which was that one that I used on my outer V. I'm going to be adding this on my lower lash line, and then I'm just going to buff it. Okay, so that's about it. So now I am going to be applying my false lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding um, eyeliner to my bottom lash line. And I'm going to be adding, I'm going to go back to my eyes right now because I want to add some kind of glitter. So for right now, I'm going to be using the Sephora Coal Liner in the shade Cocoa. And I'm going to be lining my waterline. Okay, so for, so for the glitter that I want to add is this Urban Decay Heavy Metals Liquid Glitter Liner and it's in the shade Starfire and it's kind of like a bronzy goldy shade. So you all seen how the shadow looks like right here. It looks actually absolutely beautiful but I want to add a little bit of this on the inner part where I have this right here. So I'm going to be adding a little bit right here. Something like this just so it can look a little bit more glittery okay something like this just adding a little bit of glitter makes such a huge difference so now that I have this let me just apply mascara to my bottom lashes 
and then we can move on okay so moving on I'm gonna show you um, the next thing that I got and this is um, the glam bronze face and body bronzer it looks like this and I got it in the shade icon I think this is like the lighter shade I thought this was perfect for my skin tone but they do have another two shades a medium one and then four deeper skin tones which I think it's awesome that they have one for each skin tone so this is in the shade icon once again and it does have a protecting thing which I don't use and oh my god you guys this is so huge so I recently saw Jacqueline Hill's video and she mentioned that this is a dupe for the Marc Jacobs bronzer so I'm super excited to see if that's true so this is what it looks like right here it's a huge pan and I'm going to start bronzing my skin to see how it actually performs Oh, I like this bronzer. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it super good on camera, but I love this bronzer. The tone is perfect. You can see it. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I think I'm going to replace my other Morphe one for this. It's not that much of a difference. It doesn't have a... I don't know why I was expecting to have like a coconut scent to it, but it doesn't have any scent. I don't know. I just wanted to smell it. So, so like I said, it's not much of a difference of the other one, but I don't know. I feel like this one has more warm tones than the other one that I use. So I really like this. So once again, this is what it looks like. And next, um, let me just apply um, my blush and then we can move on to the other stuff that I have. So for blush, I'm just using from the Morphe palette. It looks like this and I'm going to be wearing this shade right here. Just something super natural. Okay, now for highlighter, I also bought the liquid. These are the Morphe Liquid Luster mini highlighter drops and they look like this so they do come um for liquid luster drops i really don't use liquid highlighters but i thought these were so cute and i want to start using more of these so i just figured i would purchase these once again i will leave the prices somewhere around the screen so these are actually I don't think it's plastic I think it's like actual like glass which I have to be careful not to break them so we have let me see we have this one this is like a light pink one for very fair skin tones this is called strobe and it looks like this and then we have the shade flare which looks like this we have the shade optic looks like this and then we have the shape flash which looks like this but for this look i think i'm going to be using i want to try flare it looks more like a kind of like this shades right here so i'm gonna be ooh. so this is cute this is what it looks like so i'm going to be adding a little bit right here and i'm not going to be adding a lot because i don't want to go crazy with it and i think i'm going to be using my should I use my finger? I'm going to use my finger and then I'm going to use my beauty blender. So. Ooh. Okay, these are super pretty and they are so blinding. So I'm going to use my beauty blender just to diffuse the product in there. Okay, so this one is pretty but I think I want more highlight so should I use this one I'm gonna use optic just to see what it looks like this one looks more highlighting so let me just put it over here oh yeah this one is way more highlighting looking mm -hmm. look at that that was so pretty and then I think I'm gonna add a little bit here. And I'm gonna add a little bit in my tear duct, if I can apply this. 
So that's what the drops look like. I really like them. Um, I need to experiment, experiment more with these because like I said, I really don't wear these a lot. And I usually wear it um, after my foundation, but I forgot about them and I apply my foundation first. But I want something more highlighting. I mean, these are highlighting, but I think I want to set them with a powder. So I'm just going to be using my, my Anastasia glow kit sugar glow kit and i'm going to be using the jeffree star this is the js4 brush this is a highlighting brush and i'm going to be applying this on top Ooh. okay this combination is everything okay this combination is so highlighting as you guys can see um i think it's good if you apply um if you set your liquid highlighter with some sort of um, powder highlight just because it's gonna set it in place and it's not gonna move around so <laughs> look at that oh my god that is so pretty okay so now that I have this all I'm left to do is apply my lipstick they did come out with lip glosses I'll put them somewhere around here but I really don't wear lipsticks and the shades that they had they were kind of bronzy so they have like a couple pink ones but I it didn't catch my attention so I didn't get them so I'm just going to be spraying my face and then I'm gonna be adding a liquid lipstick so I think I'm gonna use um, the liquid lipstick it's by Morphe as well but let me just line my lips. I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Dirty Peach. And then I'm going to be adding the Morphe Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade School Girl. So that is it. This is the look that I came up with with this palette. I really like the palette because... You all know I like all these kinds of shades, brownish, orangey ones, bronzy. I like all these kinds of shades. And yes, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really like everything they came up with. And like I said, this highlighting drops, I have to experiment more with them. But I really do like them. And I'm going to continue using them to try them out and get used to them so this is it this is the look that i came up with and this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and until next time i will see you guys soon bye <laughs>